Welcome. Thank you for joining me to review the Comfort Air Window Air Conditioner RADS series, which covers models 51, 61, 81, 101, 121, and 151. First, let's review the packaging to make sure you've chosen the best model for your needs. Select models in this series have smartphone capability. All models feature electronic controls, wireless remote, auto restart, energy saver mode, 24-hour timer, three fan speeds, and a compact cabinet designed for window mounting that comes with a convenient installation kit. Today, as an example, we'll be installing an RADS-121. The size of the room this unit will cool is shown in the corner. Correct sizing is critical to allow for proper cooling and dehumidification. Both are very important for proper comfort. Here you can see the certifications for electrical safety standards and ENERGY STAR for unit performance. For more detailed technical information about the unit, the QR code takes you directly to the website. The ENERGY guide is on the side showing the estimated annual operating cost and the SEER rating, which covers the efficiency of the unit. The dimensional chart shows the minimum window dimensions needed to install the unit. If you know the square footage of your room, you can use the sizing guide on the side to make the best product selection at the point of purchase. The manufacturer's warranty is clearly displayed on the carton. Finally, inspect the box to make sure there's no physical damage. If you see any damage, return the unit to the retailer for further assistance. Now, let's unpackage the unit and make sure all of the installation components are included. Find the owner's manual that includes installation, operation, and maintenance instructions. Locate the installation hardware packet. Verify all contents are included per the list found in the operation and maintenance instructions. The installation foam seal allows you to seal up any air gaps between the window panes and the small areas around the outside of the unit. The window mounting accordion hardware lets you seal the unit against the sill of the window. The remote control comes with two batteries. Remove the protective packaging and inspect the unit for any physical damage before you start to install. The first step is to install the rail also known as a mounting bracket, on the top of the unit, although the bracket comes pre-installed on some units. This should be mounted so that it's even on both ends. You'll be attaching the accordion window seals here. The accordion window seals fill the space on each side for a snug fit and seal out the elements. Expand the accordion seal and slide it down the side to engage the exposed clips. Push and let the accordion compress as far as it will go. Repeat this on the opposite side. Later, you will use either two or four screw locations, depending on your model, to secure the accordion in place. For some models, clips may also be used. The screw point at the top center is for screwing the mounting bracket into the window sill. This mounting bracket will fit on the top of the lower pane to lock the window in place. For cleaning, it's easy to access the nylon mesh filter by sliding it out from behind the front panel. For some models, the filter removes from the side. Remove pollen, dirt, or other debris with a sweeper or by running it under warm soapy water and allow to dry. Replacing the filter is just as easy as removing it. After pre-assembly, it's time to install the unit. You'll need a drill, level, Phillips screwdriver, tape measure, pair of scissors, and pencil. Be sure your window is large enough to accept the unit chosen based on the chart on the carton. Locate the unit in a window that is within five feet of the correctly sized outlet. In the case of a voltage spike, the power cord is equipped with overcurrent protection. If a spike trips the switch, reset it by pressing here. Mark the center of the window so that when you lift the unit into place, you can keep it centered. 
lifted into position, making sure it's sitting on the base of the sill. Then lower the sash, keeping the unit in position. Check the unit for proper tilt away from the structure so condensate can drain properly. Drill into the upper edge of the sash and into the lower edge of the window frame on the accordion edges. Install the installation screws with your Phillips screwdriver. In order to install the frame lock on the edge of the accordion, drill a pilot hole as needed and install the screw. Repeat on the opposite side as needed. Next, cut the foam filler tape to length and install it between the panes. Install the sash lock at the top of the window by securing it in place with two half-inch screws. Plug the unit in, select the mode and temperature to operate the unit, and enjoy the cool air. The electronic keypad controls are located on the front. Press the on-off button to turn the unit on or off. The unit will initiate the energy saver function under cool, dry, and auto modes. Press the temp button to the left or right to adjust for your desired temperature. Press the fan speed button to adjust the fan speed to low, medium, high, or auto. Each time you press the mode button, a mode is selected in sequence from auto, cool, and dry to fan. Once a mode is selected, the light next to it will illuminate. The unit will act as a dehumidifier when you select dry mode. In a closed or sealed space, it will also cool things down a bit. In order to save energy, press the Energy Saver button. Energy Saver is available in cool, dry, and auto modes. The fan will continue to run for three minutes after the compressor shuts off. The fan then cycles on for two minutes at 10 minute intervals until the room temperature is above the set temperature, at which time the compressor turns back on and cooling starts. If you prefer a different temperature when you sleep, you can turn on sleep mode to either warm up the room or cool down the room by two degrees for six or seven hours. Press the check filter button to receive a reminder to clean the air filter for more efficient operation. When pressed, the light will illuminate after 250 hours of operation. To reset after cleaning the filter, press the check filter button and the light will go off. When you press the timer button, the timer on or timer off indicator light illuminates. This indicates the auto start or auto stop program is working. Press or hold the up or down button to change the auto time by half hour increments up to 10 hours, then at one hour increments up to 24 hours. The control will count down the time remaining until start. The selected time will register for 5 seconds after you press the button, then the system will automatically revert back to display the previous temperature setting or room temperature when the unit is on. When the unit is off, there is no display. Turning the unit on or off at any time or adjusting the timer setting to 0, 0.0 will cancel the auto start or auto stop timed program. Now, let's take a look at the remote control. If the remote for your unit comes with two batteries, insert the batteries before turning on the remote. The temperature up button increases temperature in one degree increments, up to a maximum of 86 degrees. You can select fan speeds in this order. Auto, low, medium, and high. Select times to turn the unit on and off with timer on and timer off. Press once to activate the energy saving mode and press again to turn it off. Press here to turn the indoor unit's LED display on and off. The mode button lets you scroll through the operation modes. Auto, cool, dry, and fan. The on-off switch turns the unit on and off. The temperature down button decreases temperature in one degree increments, down to a minimum of 62 degrees. Whenever the remote is turned on, you'll see information on the screen. 
The timer on symbol displays when timer on is set. The timer off symbol displays when timer off is set. The main screen shows the set temperature, room temperature, or time under the timer setting. The lock symbol shows that all of the current settings are locked. The sleep symbol displays when the sleep feature is activated. The fan display shows high, medium, and low fan speeds. No display means auto fan speed is set. Thanks for watching and enjoy your brand new Comfort Air RADS Series Window Air Conditioner.